First, thank you to the Filipino American Lawyers Association, their current president, Leslie Arca, and the board of directors for nominating me for the Vanguard Award. Second, thank you to the Chicago Bar Association for creating an opportunity to acknowledge attorneys who are making the law more accessible and reflective of the community at large. And finally, thank you to the other Vanguard awardees because in this political moment, your dedication and hard work make it possible to realize the change we hope to see in all corners of our society. I humbly accept this Vanguard Award in recognition of people who struggle, who resist, and who fought for liberation throughout history and today. On behalf of the Alliance of Filipinos for Immigrant Rights and Empowerment, its community members, and its board of directors, salamat po. Thank you. In the 1960s, Filipino farm workers who picked grapes in California created a movement for better working conditions. And those Filipino workers built a coalition with the Latino community and won their rights. Today on International Women's Day, I want to acknowledge the women from the Filipino community who came to this country in search of opportunity. I want to recognize the women who were pushed out of the Philippines because of violence and poverty. And I want to honor those women who send money back home to support their families. These women work as domestic workers, caregivers to our elderly, nannies to our children, and people who clean our homes. With the fire and with their leadership, we fought for and won the Illinois Domestic Worker Bill of Rights in 2016. I believe when we center the collective voices of the oppressed, we can fight for and win progressive social change. Undocumented families, domestic workers, youth and seniors of the Filipino community continue to resist. And it is with those stories and experiences that I feel inspired to continue to do this work as an advocate, an organizer, and an attorney. Thank you.